pro-democracy demonstrators in Hong Kong fought fierce battles with riot police, who fired round after round of tear gas and shot an 18-year-old demonstrator with a live bullet. It's the first time in more than three months of unrest that a live round was fired at a protester. A serious escalation in the political crisis gripping the semi-autonomous Chinese city. A video circulating online appears to show the moment an officer points a pistol at the teenage protester from point-blank range and shoots. City News has chosen not to show you the footage because of its graphic nature. In the video, the protester who was shot at strikes an officer with what appears to be a metal pipe. The officer with a handgun drawn then opens fire. The video of the shooting was filmed by the Hong Kong University Student Union. The teen was taken to hospital in critical condition. The violence comes on the same day China's communist leaders staged a massive military parade in Beijing to celebrate 70 years in power. Earlier, thousands of Hong Kongers defied a government ban and joined a huge march to call for greater freedom. Then began the cycle of confrontation. Running battles in districts across the city saw some of the bloodiest and widespread fighting between police and protesters. Who built bonfires and barricades and threw firebombs and anything else they could. The scenes of chaos and anger we've seen in the streets of Hong Kong week after week are an embarrassment to the Chinese government, which tolerates no signs of dissent on the mainland. But in a direct challenge to Beijing, protesters seized on the anniversary to broadcast their resentment of the central government's growing influence over their life and politics. Hong Kong police have defended shooting the teenage protesters, saying in a news conference that the officer was acting in self-defense and likening acts by the protesters to rioting. Now officers did fire warning shots in several other areas, but no one was injured. Nearly 200 people were arrested.